doing this earlier on, and the warm-up comedian... I call him comedian. Yes, no. <laughs> You know, runs over people and scares them, and you know, they're like, ha, 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 that's right, you better. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I was going like this, and he said, oh, you look deep in thought. And I went, no, 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 I've got something in my teeth, and I do. <laughs> I've got a little kind of uh, nut, I've got a nut, a peanut or something stuck in there somewhere. And guess, the, the, the good news is, though, tomorrow morning, which is only a few hours away from now in your region, I am... <laughs> I'm going to get my uh, teeth cleaned, you know, the scrapey thing. Oh, I, I know, you're right to all. Can't we invent a better way of dealing with this? You could die like me. You died from not getting your teeth cleaned? Hell yeah, I don't have to pay anything for dental bills. It's fantastic. That's not, I, look, wait, I'm not worried about the pain of the, the thing. I'm, luckily enough, CBS has dental, so <laughs> I, you know, I, I get it done, but... Like, oh, it really hurts. And then they've got that super fast water jet. Have you had that? <laughs> it's like they invented an extra hearty bit. <laughs> I won't sleep a wink tonight. I'll be worried about my, my teeth. You know, my father, uh, well, you, you don't know him, but, uh, but my father, uh, when he was alive, he used to, he, uh, you know, he used to take his teeth and take them out at night and put them by, in a glass <laughs> by the side of it. If he wanted his teeth done, he could just send them. <laughs> Well, I suppose I'd rather have my own teeth, but still, oh, gosh, it hurts. Do you, you've got lovely teeth. Do you go to the dentist often? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they always say this thing, I've got this gap at the back, and they always say, it's time for you to get that implant put in. I'm like, I can't have implants in my mouth. <laughs> it's a booby joke. No, I... Because, you know, the downtime is like, you know, uh, uh, I don't have any time. I can't get any time off. I can't get any time off. And you have to take, like, a week off or something for an implant? Maybe I'll get it done. We, we still talking about teeth? Sponsored by the all-new 2014 Kia Sorento Crossover. It has an answer for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Let your applause die away quite naturally as if it were real and not forced out of you by the sweaty man over there. <laughs> Who every night before I come out shouts to the audience, Give me thunder! <laughs> like we were rolling onto a beachhead in tanks as opposed to a bunch of hobos making ten bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. These people are here of their own free will. Aren't you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It's it is. But, but it is uh, not such a great day over at NBC. Really? Do tell. <laughs> I've turned into one of these Hollywood guys. Have you seen them? Ooh, do 
did you see what she was wearing? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, look at that. She's not wearing something nice. <laughs> Anyway, last night on The Tonight Show, in the, during the monologue, Jay Leno called NBC executives snakes. <laughs> You're right to! <laughs> the response came back very quickly. Jay Leno has crossed the line and gone too far, responded snakes. See what I did? Uh, yeah. See what I did? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Justin Bieber says he's growing a moustache. He said, I'm growing a moustache! <laughs> He's going to post the finished result on Twitter, assuming Twitter still exists in the year 2050. Ah, no, he... <laughs> what? Well, I've given a kid a hard time. There's nothing wrong with a kid. He just does his thing. And it was hilarious. <laughs> Katie Holmes posed topless for the cover of a velour magazine. It's worth a look if you've never seen Katie Holmes naked. Talking to you, Tom Cruise. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. It's a joke. It's just a late night thing. I don't mean it. It's probably true. No! I don't mean it. It's just a late night joke. Something, something, celebrity. Oh, cheeky. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. No, don't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, did you watch the show Bates Mattel? It premiered last night on e &A. Wow! It was the most watched drama in the history of A&E. The network that brought you Hoarders and Duck Dynasty. <laughs> These are big shows. I'm going to pitch them a show about someone who hoards ducks. <laughs> it's me. I got one in my pants right now. <laughs> Quiet. You too, duck. But anyway, Bates Mattel, it's a spin-off from the movie Psycho. I hope this doesn't mean we're going to get other cheap knockoffs from Psycho. Shows like uh, Stabbing with the Stars. Um, you get any? How I Met Your Murderer. Not bad. Uh, so you think you can put the lotion in the basket? Uh, Downton down Stabby. Downton Stabby, that's very good. Have you got a picture from Bates Motel? Oh, look at that. I wonder if they show the creepy old woman peeking through the window. Take a closer look. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> Quack. Psycho was the movie that changed the way I look at roadside motels. After seeing that movie, I swore I'd find someplace else to bring my truck stop prostitutes. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's probably true. You know the guy that plays Norman Bates is that in the new version is Freddie Highmore. No, he's a good actor, Freddie Highmore. Uh, he's great in this, but, um, but no one can possibly top Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates. Anthony Perkins was truly the master Bates. Wouldn't you agree, Jack? <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> That's right. Got it. You have to do that. When you have the name Bates, this is the late night thing, when you have the name Bates, you have to get the master Bates thing in. It's, yeah. the, it's like a monologue thing. It's like if you're talking about planets, you also have to talk about Uranus, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like if you're doing that thing, it's one of those things. You're talking about planets, you talk about Uranus. That's what you do. You see, oh, I saw Uranus at night, lit up the sky. Oh, <laughs> they're approaching Uranus with a probe, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm just explaining to the folks how late night TV works. I'm explaining. <laughs> anyway, I, I watched uh, uh, Bates Motel last night. Very suspenseful. The whole time I was watching it, I was going, will that guy get stabbed? Will he survive to see next week? Oh, sorry, that's when I was watching The Tonight Show. Ah! Uh, yeah. You see what I did? <laughs> yeah. Here, here's one. <laughs> That's me doing Jay Leno afraid of being attacked by the NBC executive. Yeah, do that again. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll be the executive. All right, then. Anyway, I, I, I do have a problem with the Bates Motel. So the, 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 here's the thing. It, it's set in the present day. They've modernized it. I'm not sure about that. I don't want to see Norman Bates texting, you know, uh, OMG, Mom just stabbed somebody. JK, it was me. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, Bates Motel, of course, wouldn't exist without Alfred Hitchcock. You got a picture of Alfred Hitchcock? There he is, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, now... 
I have a very picture, a very similar picture uh, like that with, with me. Uh, yeah, but I'm, it's, it's not a cigar. And... <laughs> And it's not a bird. <laughs> Wait, can I see that picture again? The yep, man must have very strong jaws to balance a bird on a cigar like that. I've done that once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, the Birds was the movie, the Hitchcock movie, scared me when I was a kid. I crapped my pants. Right there, right now, when I told you about it, right? And just, just mentioning it, I just crapped my pants right there. <laughs> No, the birds going around and going nuts, pecking people to death. I'm terrified of pecking, pecking, pecking. To this day, I get freaked out when I'm surrounded by peckers. Or... <laughs> no. Hitchcock's movies are they're like a textbook on filmmaking. They, they teach you everything you need to know about filmmaking. For instance, before I saw his movies, I was dialing K for murder. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. And that was tonight's joke for senior citizens. What's up the thing? Well, I think that's it. I think I'm done here. That's it. You're finished. Or am I? <laughs> Just trying to add a bit of suspense. That's good. No, I like that. Or was I? <laughs> What's uh... <laughs> That's good. All right, I'll be Jay Leno uh, doing the Tonight Show, worried about things, and then, you know, the, you, be, you come into the... You're the executive, yeah, you come right, in, yeah. and then... The, the, right, we'll see if that works. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was awesome! Wow. We'll be right back. I'm getting my teeth cleaned tomorrow. Still worried about it. Well, I, you know, I, I forgot about it during the monologue, but it's come back to me. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll go with you, man. Oh, yeah, that, that, that wouldn't freak me out at all, having a skeleton in the room with me. The hell, man? I'll, I'll hold your hand. <laughs> no. It's not my... It's just the, it's the... It's the pain I don't like. That's what I'm saying. You can squeeze my phalanges and just we'll get through it together. <laughs> Can I do that without getting my teeth got the thing? Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my creepy laugh came back there. You remember my oh, creepy yeah, laugh? Yeah. It came right back, right there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, do you ever see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think I look like the child catcher in drag? Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll collect your children and teach them how to be fabulous! <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you applaud for? Oh, sure! Sure! Yes, collect our children and take them away and teach them to dance, dance, dance! <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's Treat Mail Time, brought to you by CBS's new psycho-themed lineup, The Slice is Right, The Stock, and Two Bludgeoned Girls. <laughs> All right, let's do our own jingle yeah, sure. then. <laughs> I wasn't that impressed with that one. Did you see that? I was like, what, what's. <sighs> yeah. That was quite passive. Well, I'm working over here, Ben. Yeah, what? I'm working over here. Yeah, no, I can see that. <laughs> Look at you standing at your podium, moving your little arm. <laughs> hey, doing your thing. <laughs> hey, what, what's that in your pants, Ben? That's a duck. <laughs> Let's do our own treat meal. Yeah, yeah, all right. Are you ready? Yeah. Treat and dance. Hey, you know what we haven't done for a while? What's that? Bad dueling mouth organs. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Do it. Yeah, yeah.
This is from Cary in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You ever, you ever, uh, Beautiful place. Wow, oh, what a place. You know what they've got down there is they've got the strolling bands of, what do they call them again? Uh, uh birds. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, that's for any of you improv students out there. You want to paint someone into a corner, you say, uh, you got, they've got strolling bands of, boom, birds. and then you make the other guy yeah. say, you say. <laughs> Ah, they've got that huge, enormous purple... What's that thing? Uh, d uh trunks. <laughs> anyway, this is from Carrie in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I can't keep up. Who's winning the late-night war? All the other guys. <laughs> now, be, be honest. Who's your favorite late-night uh, talk show host? Oh, uh, No, 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 no. But the truth, the truth, man. Birds. <laughs> No, it's it's you, man. No, no, it's no, it's no, it's no. No, it's you, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, you're my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is from Keith in Norman, Oklahoma. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is from Callista in St. Petersburg, Florida. You ever been there? Beautiful. You know what they've got there is the Salvador Dali Museum. Oh yeah. Oh, Oh, it's great. If Dolly were alive today, what, what would he make of it, I wonder? What? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> wow, I didn't know we still had that. If we still have that, do we still have a picture of Paul McCartney? Yeah. <laughs> we do. Wow. All right, um, this is from Callista and St. Peter's McFord. Dear Craig and Jeff, I trust your opinion. Can you explain to me why guys cheat on their girlfriends so much? <laughs> I don't know that they all do. Do, do they? No, I, th oh. I think it's why do guys cheat on you so much? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, you know, you, you can do the skeleton all you the like, hell, but he's, he's telling the truth, man. He, he's the Dr. Phil of the undead. He's telling you like it is. You know, this, this, is, this is what it is, Callista. Maybe it's you, sweetheart. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you let them do it. You say, look, here's the rules. Date one, I want to get married, and I don't want anyone who cheats, and then you won't have to worry about date two, and you'll be good. <laughs> You know, you, you just don't have to accept it's what I'm saying, right? That's right. Yeah, right. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give a... Right, right there. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> hey. Oh, wait, wait. Shh, wait, no. Now, you ask yourself. Ask yourself, ladies and gentlemen, what happened there? I cussed you an ooh, and I drew attention to your ooh, and then you applauded yourself. <laughs> it's like I wasn't even here. This is from David in Jersey City. He says, Dear Craig and GP, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> this is from Sandy in Boise, Idaho. Uh, dear uh, Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, what's up? Uh, I'm tweeting you from a really boring class. Did you ever wish you could be someplace, anyplace else? Oh, no, never. <laughs> I'm right, happy, right here. This is where I want to be. I want to be right here on. A network. <laughs> hey, hey. Your name here. <laughs> and finally, this is from Gregory in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll She's in the new film, Tomorrow You're Gone, which is in theatres and on demand on April the 5th. Please welcome the beautiful, the spectacular Michelle Monaghan, everybody.
Hi, Michelle. Hi. I, uh, I like your digs, your new digs. Oh, you haven't been here in the new no, studio. It's I nice, haven't. isn't it? It? Looks, it looks amazing. It's spectacular. Yeah. We've got a cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. And are you warm enough? Because wow. I could turn the fire up a little bit if you wanted. Oh, wow, that's, that is impressive. That's right, yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that gives you just another thing to stoke, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I got everything I need. Thank <laughs> You look sensational. Thank I love you. this dress. Thank it's, you so much. Look, look. I know spring has sprung, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it has. <laughs> oh, God. Not the only one. <laughs> How are you? I haven't seen you. I like I, what you're doing here. It's smoky. Thank you. You've got smoky yeah, eyes. Yeah, I, mm. I added a little color. It's, yeah. Mm, I, I, it's good. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you approved. Well, I think this what it, here's my guess is your daughter's getting a little older and yes. you've got more time. Oh, my mm. gosh. Yeah, uh, just slightly. Just yeah. slightly. What age is she now? She's four. Oh, she's at the house working. She's out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking about putting her to work. Yeah, yeah. When I was four, oh I was gosh. already cleaning chimneys. You <laughs> What do you, you have boys. Yeah, two here? boys. Uh, one, 11, one, two. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a little intense at home because mm -hmm. one's kind of reaching puberty and the other one's kind of... Puberty? What? <laughs> Michelle, I'm Church of Scotland. We don't talk about such things. <laughs> You're just uh, short trousers, long trousers. There you are, that's it. <laughs> You're lucky because you've got you've got boys and, and girls right now I think are fairly easy, but I think as they get older. <laughs> right? yeah. But what everyone's telling me, what everyone's telling me, and I have a mother, right? And I'm a daughter, of course, it gets it gets to be really challenging. As yeah, I gotta be older. honest with you. I, I think that uh, the idea of being a father of young women today it would be be tricky for me, that's especially because I know what I was like, oh, you know. But you know. that's the thing. And I have two older brothers. Ah. And I actually was not allowed to date until I was 17. So and like two, three years ago? Yeah, that's yeah it? exactly. That a boy. Now, now, that's mm -mm. it. That's it. And my dad's philosophy was, I remember I was invited to like a homecoming or a prom or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't, my dad still wasn't convinced that he was going to let me out of the house. And I remember we were all sitting down at the supper table with my brothers, my older brothers. And I said, well, that's not fair. My brothers get to go out on dates. And my dad point blank said, that's because when they leave the house, I only have to worry about one penis. When you leave the house, I have to worry about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly your brothers aren't European. No. no. <laughs> and, and I didn't, none of us said a word after that. I don't even know what you say after that. Well, I mean, I don't think I ever heard my father say the word penis. No. <laughs> well, I'll He might have said it, but he probably he had his teeth out at the time. He actually right? didn't use that word. He right. actually didn't use that word, but for he, the sake of, you know. He didn't? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and, yeah. the movie, the movie looks great. Is it good? Yeah. The All right, good. So, yeah, uh, so your dad great. said this thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. The, what's, what's the movie about? The movie, um, it's called Tomorrow You're Gone. Right. It opens uh, April 5th. It's about 5th. Jay Leno's yeah. thing at the Tonight Show. <laughs> that you should stay in CBS's good graces. You've got, you've got some fabulous new digs here. So you should, yeah, whatever you're doing, you're doing let, a great let job Let me assure it. you, Michelle, I am very grateful to the great CBS Corporation for all their help and support yeah. through the year. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I'm very happy to hear. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you, you look it. You look I am, it. no, yeah. I'm very, I like it here. Anyway, the movie, tell me about the okay, movie. Okay, so the yeah. movie, yeah, Tomorrow You're Gone opens April 5th um, in select cities nationwide. It's also available on VOD. VOD? And isn't VOD? that, I thought, is that an STD? It's kind of. <laughs> You've got VOD, take these <laughs> and, uh, you know, and you're not going to the prom. Yeah, ex yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, but it's, um, yeah, video on demand. Right, I, I got so it. You go, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, good. <laughs> I want to clarify, it's not an I, thought, I didn't think it was venereal yeah, or it's, disease. It's, it's, I don't think it's that good of a movie. Right, right, right. Um,
Um, right. Um, but it's, um, but it, I, I, I co-star with Stephen Dorff and Willem <gasps> Dafoe. Stephen Dorff was in that movie about the Beatles, wasn't he, years ago? What, which movie was that? I never uh, saw that. Uh, what was that movie of Stephen Dorff? You've got a computer. Look it up in your little thing. Uh, <laughs> no, he's very clever, Stephen Dorff. He's Dorf. great. He's, he's kind of dark-haired. He's uh, kind of dark. He's a fantastic actor, yeah. as is Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe, yeah. He was Jesus in a movie. Yeah, well, I think Willem Dafoe can play just about anything, right? No, no, he'd be terrible at Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, terrific one. actors. I, I mean, if he was sitting right here, well, I'd say, Willem, you're a sensational yeah, actor, right, but, but we're, we're going in a different direction yeah, for the Oprah yeah, cast. definitely. Doesn't yeah. have press. The Oprah story starring Willem Dafoe is Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So the movie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, That's yeah. all right. So, so um, the two of them play uh, prison inmates, and uh, Will, uh, Stephen Dorff's character gets released out of prison, and he's indebted to um, uh, Willem Dafoe's character, and he has to carry out a, a murder. Murder? A murder. Yeah. And on the way to carry out this murder, he, he, he meets my character, Florence Jane, who is actually a former porn star. Whoa, whoa, I know. Whoa. That was exciting to play. Did you uh, uh, research this I in any way? <laughs> I actually did. I did. You know, it's funny. I actually dated. I had a couple of porn movies in my hotel room. Really? And I was thinking, <laughs> because I actually did. This is so embarrassing. And I kept thinking, I'm like, I've got them sitting there by the TV in this podunk hotel, and people are coming in and out of my hotel room cleaning it and stuff. And little do I know, it's like they're probably going home telling their husband, like, God, that Michelle Monaghan is really into porn. <laughs> and it's and it's all like girl, it's all girl porn, you know. There's it's, it's all girl well, porn. It's not, what what, what were the like names of the I movies? Girl. I might have seen them by all accident. The now. There's one called All the Presidents. All it's the, actually all, pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty great. Yeah, no, I, I love I love that kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> and it's fun. Oh yeah, well, and is so, it? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, so uh, that was my character, and and uh, so he meets me along the way. And don't I'm tell very, us anymore. You'll okay. spoil it. The yeah, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Anyway, we're so out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. That's enough reason. That's, that's enough, enough reason to go see it. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're done. Ah. Uh, okay. Mouth organ, um, chocolate dollar? Oh, chocolate dollar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like chocolate and I like dollars, so I mean, that seems like a no brainer. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Michelle Monahan, everyone. Please, quietly, I'm trying to read a book. <laughs> a book, child catcher? What's a book? Well, wow. it's like a long, papery blog. <laughs> a book, uh, it's called uh, The Fault in Our Stars. This book was uh, the number one New York Times bestseller. And that's not easy. <laughs> It's in stores now. Please welcome the author of this book, the great John Green, everybody. That's what drove it all the way to number one on the best sale. <laughs> There's my copy and Jeff's copy because you have to sign it for us. Sure, of course. Yeah, no, yeah, it's my awesome. pleasure. Do you do the, the book tours and go around and sign all the books? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, my brother and I just played Carnegie Hall a few months ago. So. Carnegie Hall? Why? <laughs> because we could? Yeah. yeah. I've played Carnegie Hall. It's nice, but the stage is very slopey. Yeah, that doesn't bother me, though, because I was just standing still because I, was, I felt the terror of the, you know, the 3,000 eyes on you. So, yeah. Oh. You, you, so it was Carnegie Hall with all one-eyed people? <laughs> <to see? laughs> I'm not so sure about this, Graham. I enjoyed his book. <laughs> That's really my core audience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, by the way, I'm concerned about your teeth because I just had emergency dental surgery yesterday. No! Yes, and it started with a, tooth, with a, with a teeth cleaning. It really did. I'm not going. I'm not no, going. I don't. I don't, I don't 
I don't recommend it. They say every six months, but then what if there's an emergency dental surgery? Well, yeah, yeah. The day before you're supposed to be on, on television. It's not really television, but I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? Was it an abscess or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's the worst time. Oh, it was, it was t truly, truly terrifying. And I, then I spent the whole day at the dentist, like 8.30 to 4.30, the whole day at the dentist. Well, how did you know it was coming? We'll get to the book in a minute. How did you know that it was yeah. coming? Well, you I did have a, I had a little bit of a twinge. Do you have a twinge at all? A little bit. Not, little not bit. in my mouth, but I little <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of, I do oh, have a show Monahan was beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah. She's but very beautiful. It was, uh, uh, yeah, just a little bit of a twinge, and I went in, and they were just doing the cleaning, and they were like, oh, well, uh-oh. Well, boy, get out the x-rays. And get then it just, it just went, went south Had it there. been a long time since your last cleaning? Six months. Every six months. See, I haven't, I haven't been for longer. It's like, it's like almost a year since I'm I've concerned. been. I'm concerned. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> You've yeah. really steered me in a very frightening direction, John. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm very worried indeed. No, no. Do you do this all the time? You create scenarios which are worrying? I mean, that's a writer's <laughs> idea, but... <laughs> yeah, you're a novelist. Like, you know how it is. I've written, one, I've written uh, one novel. I don't makes, know if that makes me that a novelist. That makes you a novelist. Really? Yeah, we're, we're like professional... I think I'm a guy who wrote a novel. <laughs> that's a very different thing. But we are professional worriers, you know? You, you have yes. to, you're constantly imagining things that could go wrong and then, and then writing all about them. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Until I did this show and then it all went wrong and I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, do you do, are you an anxious, nervous person? Um, no. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Profoundly. Really? Terribly, terribly. Does it manifest itself in any kind of weird behaviors? Are you OCD or... Uh, not that that's weird. It's about, oh dear. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I'm not attached I'm just, to judgment. I'm, I'm steering clear of that whole thing. No, no, but no. I, I do this a lot. I don't know. Is that that's not super nervous? That, but, that's uh, that might make your wife a little nervous. Yeah. 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 Um, no. I mostly manifest itself internally in uh, thinking about all the things that could happen. But that's what that's what that's what writing is ultimately. Is you're thinking about you know seven diff seven thousand different things that could happen, and then you pick one. Here, here, here's a uh, here's a, a thought. Um, I've heard this said recently that people are as not as literate as they once were because of the Twitter and the way that, you know, information literature is received. Do you think there's any validity in that? Any verisimilitude <laughs> in that statement? <laughs> Please, I'm not sure I, I said the right word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I, my, my Twitter bio says that I write books which are like tweets except longer. Mm. Um, I, I mean, reading, reading Twitter is reading. It's very different from reading a novel, but like you're still reading. And in fact, I would argue in many cases we read more because we're reading so many tweets and Tumblr But it's more and... better. I mean, you know, Oscar Wilde, famous for the epigrammatic form, would have been happy on Twitter, but he still would have written, you know, uh, other stuff. And, uh... <laughs> but it's nice. I mean, the, the truth is there are still a lot of people who read books and there are yes, still a lot are. of books being yeah. read. So I'm not... I, I, I'm not as worried about it uh, as a lot of people are because I see readers, and I see particularly young readers, you know, people in high school and yes, college who are choosing, choosing to read a book. That's why I became a Gryffindor, because <laughs> of, uh, because, yeah. hey, hey, ten points off, Hufflepuff. Um, the as, a, as a Hufflepuff, I am. You're not a Hufflepuff. I am, I, I, you I Hufflepuff? am a Hufflepuff. I was sorted by the sorting hat in Pottermore. Oh, I'm really? 100% Hufflepuff, yes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I wear it with great pride. We're really? the Badgers. Are you kidding? I mean, we're ferocious. And we're excellent finders. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hufflepuff. <laughs> Do you want to know something? I've actually got a Quidditch shirt with Potter written on the yeah, back. Right. Yeah, I do, yeah. Awesome. I wear it around the house. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> How, are you a fan of the... Because uh, I think J.K. Rowling did a lot to, to bring young people back oh, to... Yeah. You, are you a fan of the... Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I love, yeah. I love the Harry Potter books. I go to a lot of Harry Potter conferences because my brother is what's called a wizard rocker. He uh, makes songs <laughs> about... He, he writes songs about Harry Potter, uh, which you know, is a genre. You know... Michelle Monaghan's dad would have loved you. <laughs> it's true. Love. It's true. But uh, I'm very pleased that you uh, were actually out of time, which I find uh, devastating because I could actually talk to you for a bit. Let's read a bit from your book. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. I'm all serious. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, they'll be all right. You'll be all right. <laughs> Jeff, you want to read any? Yeah, you want to read any, Jeff? Yeah, I'll, I'll read along. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll read a bit, and, uh, mm -mm. It's, ve it's very good, I have to say. Yeah, very, very good. It's funny, but it's also moving. That's, see, that's what books should be like. Yeah. You know, you should be like, aha, uh -huh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, uh, I was going to talk to you a little bit, though, about this on the, uh, on the, the cover on the... The author photo. Yeah, yeah. You're not happy with it? Well, your, uh, you, you, your body language is, I'm ashamed of my genitals. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, and I'm like, you know, you're an award-winning star author, man. Yeah. So you're just like, hey! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I will make you a promise today, when my next book comes out, different author photo, just front and center. <laughs> It'll do even better. Just read it, If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at LLSTickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> Well, who should uh, do the apologizing to Tone Bell, who's the comedian that should have been on tonight, but somebody wanted to talk about their book a little too long. <laughs> and Tone was waiting to do stand-up comedy when someone wanted to talk about his book. <laughs> no, it's my fault. Tone, Tone will be back at a later date. Uh, but you, you, did you have a good time? I did. He's funny, too. I just hung out with him backstage. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to like you much now, though. No. Uh, <laughs> No. Anyway, uh, Jeff and I were wondering if you'd sign our books. That would, uh, of course, be my pleasure. All right. Uh, could you make this out to eBay? Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's my, hey, it's my grandmother's name, eBay. Sure. eBay McCafferty. Yeah. It's more of a pet name. Uh, yeah. No, I think uh, Mr. Squiggles is more of a pet name. <laughs> to, oh, you make it out to eBay. That's I made good. it out to eBay. I, yes. I've got a great idea. We, what we'll do is uh, you send us a tweet, uh, you know, using the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, kids. And, uh, and the best uh, humorous tweet will win John's uh, book, which has been signed to eBay. Then you'll be able to sell it. It's a win win. <laughs> This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign this one for Jeff, though. Yeah, sign that to Jeff. Please yeah. get the spelling right. People get all kind of... No, uh, I would never mess that up. You're getting only a huge <laughs> Jeff fan. Yeah. Yeah, long time. <clears throat> really? Oh, yeah. He's by far... I mean, I don't know... You know, he's my favorite. Yeah, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? I'm just a huge fan. Yeah, no, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I mean, well, you're, you're good looking. Yeah, you're a good guy. You're Thanks, good. man. And while they continue their inane prattle about how much they love each other, huh? little do they know that I am going off stage to dress up as my mother. <laughs> I shall then return and offer to give them a shower. <laughs> of blood. <laughs> I won't really do that. Don't be afraid. Well, I thought we were going out on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we, we could have let the comedian actually do his act if we'd been here so damn long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on over, come on over. Have you ever met Secretariat? Not in person. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, man, all right. I, uh, you know, we're all big fans of John here, and uh, we're all pretty excited to see him. And uh, then it turns out Jeff's his favorite. <laughs> so me and Secretary are uh, gonna beat the crap out of him. <laughs> but it, seriously, if you haven't read this book, then what's wrong with you? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.